they're nothing to sleep at. Oh, yeah. All right. So Slingshot already making one upset. Let's see if he can follow it up with another here. Um, <clears throat> now, Diddy Bayo. Uh, can Bayo still just witch time banana for lols? Yes. So that Bayo. might actually be relevant if Diddy's not careful and gets like just leaves a banana out when he's within yeah. range to get witch time by it. But Diddy does do fairly still do fairly well against this character. Um, just ability to have banana and just camp with it. And when yeah. Bayo hits your shield, to just immediately use it as an item out of shield to her Bayo can do a lot. But moments like this Ooh. is where you want to look out for. Wow, okay. I think you probably want to destroy the banana, but in the end, he, even tripping it, he managed to avoid the really bad damage. And I kind of like this approach because you were saying how, oh, you know, Diddy can camp with banana, but Bayo with bullet arts can, you know, or just the bullets in general can kind of pressure from across the stage. Yeah. Just like get little bits of chip damage here and there. If, if Diddy isn't advancing the game state over yeah. time, that's just advantage for Tejus. Yeah, and Tejus just not having a problem just taking their time on this, like, against Diddy, knowing it's going to be a slower matchup, just having Slingshot come to them. Oh, yeah. So for the most part, he was avoiding those really brutal Diddy combos. Uh, and just right there, we got a little bit of taste of what that can feel like. Managing to now, despite the fact that there was so much of a lead for Tejus earlier on, 82% put on him really quickly. Not really at death percent from that much, but he does have to be careful. Uh, yeah. Especially because now he's trying to find the kill and, you know, up to back is really nice. But other than that, Bayo can struggle to end stocks. Oh! That was just a hard read. Just, and just know it. That was a good action positional because a lot of people do like to roll there. Yeah, just hold chill. But a lot of people do like to roll in that situation. So when you do, you just turn around and just hit them with a, your big ass smash. So smart Tejus just getting, knowing that situation and just getting the first off. Oh, that was so smart. And Mar just, and just called them out. And this combo was actually still extending, managing to get 71% onto Slingshot. Wow, and he even had the reset with the banana in the middle of it. This is like, he's clearly familiar with the matchup. He knows, he's grabbing, it feels like he's grabbing banana all the time. And once he gets it, he actually knows how to use it. Yeah. All right, a bit of a overextension on that forward smash, but you know, when you're in this much of a lead, going for something like that, if it had landed, that would basically seal the game right there, so. Yep. Oh, just now just throwing out forward smashes. He's being kind of cheeky with it. Well, he was throwing them out with the banana at his feet, right? It was something yeah. we saw earlier on where even if that forward smash whiffs, it's, if the opponent is, first of all, if they're unfamiliar with the matchup, but also generally it's just tricky ha trying to punish him without slipping on the banana yourself. It's it's kind of a, you know, pr you know both throwing out an option and, and uh, you know, baiting the opponent into hitting you and that might not actually be safe to. Yeah, no, I, I hear you. But... Slingshot now would have... Full stop deficit and now getting more percent because these bail combos do a lot of damage 66 percent and he needs to find a kill like fairly soon and diddy doesn't have a lot of options to kill that early yeah sometimes diddy can kill early with some off stage things but <laughs> good luck getting that on some, a character like bayonetta who has so many options off stage yeah. Uh, beyond that, probably the only way he's going to get an early kill is with, like, Nair down air at the ledge. But... Or, like, some barrel stuff. Yeah. That, yeah, that's good damage from center stage. Yeah, in general, Diddy is... Honestly, the winning line is more just overall doing good damage and then finishing off with a smash attack once he gets him past 100 like we just saw. And so... Tejus definitely still has the advantage here. Definitely is doing great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, combo is even extending that. But there are ways out for uh, for Slingshot here. It's just he's going to have to play almost perfectly for the next minute at least. Yeah, and he's starting to do it. Just 
playing a bit a lot more passive. Just waiting for Tejus to make a mistake. And Tejus just not taking trying to take a bite. And actually, oh, he's able to go out and beat his moves. That he falls out of the dash attack right there. So he's able yeah. to <laughs> And putting in pressure forward smash. I don't think that's no. gonna do it. But now we have 106% that we said how we needed to play perfectly for the next minute, and that's kind of just what he's doing right now. <gasps> oh, he forward smashes oh, on the shield. That ain't perfect. <laughs> now, Still able to follow through, but I don't... This won't kill. He's going to have so much lag, but not able to actually punish it. Yeah. Both these players deep in the red. One banana will lead to a kill at this point. Up smash probably will do it, meaning that stage positioning is irrelevant. One banana, and that's it. Both of them know that. That's still, it doesn't actually combo into a finisher. That throw? might be it though, forward throw. Oh, that was bad, DI. Did he, did he side me into the blast zone? I don't think he did. I uh, thought I maybe caught a little bit of that. Can we get a replay real quick? All right. Yeah, but honestly, I like the fact that he had not shown the forward throw for so long. No, I think that yeah, was just. I didn't even catch where to spark. Yeah, I think so. that was. I think that was maybe just some questionable DI, um, but uh, like he Teju had not grabbed at all for so long, yeah. and definitely he was shielding all the time, shielding all the time with banana in hand, with banana in hand, and then as soon as he shields without <laughs> banana, he's like, "You're not expecting this. You've forgotten that I can throw yeah, out this I can't option." Even see it. Yeah, oh yeah, are we it. looking at the? Uh, that's the direction he held him? Okay. That was up and away. Oh, yeah. That, that's going to kill earlier. Way earlier. In that situation, you just die, DI towards the stage, right? No, you DI down and away. Or down and in, my bad. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the exact opposite direction of where he needed to go. Yeah. Because you just want to live. Tejus gets game one. All right, moving into game two, though. So, Tejus took game one, but by the end of that, it really did feel like Slingshot kind of had his number. The yeah. fact that he was able to do 100% almost unanswered on that last stock, granted, there are some extra factors. There's the fear, there's the trying to look for the kill, but overall, it felt like perhaps Slingshot has gotten a better idea of how he needs to play the matchup. Uh, we're not seeing that just quite yet. Opening up with a really solid combo. Tejus does have a lead once more. And let's see if he's able to actually bring it to a death this time. Or whether he's going to have to get him to 160 before it disappears. Yeah. Oh. And I like the monkey flip mix-ups that he's been doing. Now we just see the sec second one for this game. But Tate. Slingshot has got a lot of mileage just monkey flipping into Tejus. Tejus has not been able to react to them. And they do kill. Monkey flip does kill. Oh. oh. Yeah, that, that was a bit of ambitious right there. I mean, I think that for the most part, Tejus has shown that he will shield in those situations. Yeah. So, uh, was not expecting... Uh, great use of the banana there. Just not going to try and mess with, you know, trying to outspace a hitbox or anything like that. Just stays back and effectively gets the kill. Now we, uh, now we have once more Tejus with a stock lead, and he's playing to that. He is not afraid of really leaning into that advantage, just jumping around from platform to platform. And right now, at least, Slingshot doesn't seem to have a... Never mind. Catches him right there with the up smash. Yeah, he... I feel like Tejus was expecting it to be over, but just drop shield a bit too early, trying to get a parry, and that just cost him the stock. It's a really common thing that happens to it with a lot of players. And now we've just seen some bat banana combos, and Slingshot taking the lead. Oh, but that lead can disappear so quickly once Bayou gets you into the vortex. Great smash DI, but... Tejus actually able to still get some extra damage in there. We have a dead even game. 
Only about, now about 17% separating them. Teju's though stuck at the ledge. But honestly, he seems to be fine getting off the ledge. A lot of characters against Diddy, it, it can be a bit nightmarish, but yeah. you know, with Bayo's options, he's been fine. Yeah. ABK off the ledge is really strong. And the ability just to mix it up with jump is just so much greater because then it's just hard for slingshot to just get a good option on whether you're just going to do an aggressive option or something more passive as jump to ledge or jump from ledge to a platform yeah and also those platforms are helping out this was um slingshot's counter pick and you know ps2 pretty neutral but it seems like those platforms generally speaking have been working out a lot better for tejus yeah using the platforms to just get away from like the diddy pressure because diddy though having like some area pressure with like fair in there oh the banana combo right there taking the stock the great patience jumping in like that i guess he was you know probably expecting a preemptive banana throw but nope slingshot just holds shield and like that he has what might turn into a very substantial lead tejus has not had to fight from behind like this too often in the set, at least. Yeah, no. Not only all the time, like, they've been in this position was when it was super close in those last hit, but now it's just Slingshot just running with it. And you see, like, how much Diddy like, gets to extend the lead, but 71% now onto Tejus. And that's just a simple Bayo combo, to be honest. Yeah, no, a very reliable kill confirm. And 82%, though. Oh, that's not going to do it, but that's a lot of damage. And another banana up smash. Like, banana up smash will probably kill from anywhere on stage now. So, yeah. just banana is a death sentence. There's no way to play around that. Oh, that was probably a misinput or perhaps coverage. Oh, this is oh. Nice to Wow. Yeah. That's that's one thing about this matchup that's worth noting. Bayo, you know, after she uses her special, she has all of this lag. And against a lot of characters, she can just ABK away from them. And what are they going to do about it? They can't get there in time. But Diddy, if he's holding banana, he's just like, okay. Whew, yeah. Just chucks the banana from across the stage. Boom. That's an up smash. That's game two for Slingshot. We now have 1-1 one, one as we move into game three, which... I think, honestly, do you think we're going to see PS2 again? I think we potentially can. Um, both players were doing good on stage, but if I was Tejus, I'll probably opt for something where it's more in my favor. Yeah, I mean, I would guess Triplats would be banned. Uh, yeah, Triplats can work, potentially. Diddy does not have the Banana Infinite, so... That's, we're about to start, so let's see what it is. And it okay. seems to be Town City. All right. Um, I, I I can see this. Same platform as before, although there is going to be brief periods where it's going to be the FD variant, which, I mean, Diddy Kong and FD, you're, he's like, Tejus isn't going to have those platforms to get yeah, out of yeah, banana he's pressure. Gonna, yeah, he's going to take you for a ride, man. <laughs> he, he knew he was going there, but Diddy Kong didn't quite have the hitboxes to easily challenge that, uh, that ABK. Oh, I, I'm loving these dashbacks, Salty. So, you see in Slingshot just dash forward and back in between, like, Bale's burst range? Or, like, and when Tejus is in shield, just to, like, scare Tejus into baiting him into do something. Oh. <laughs> All right, trapped that ledge, but Slingshot got out of it really quickly. And is that going to be enough? No, that high ceiling on Town and City helping out Tejus. And oh, <laughs> that roll away. Definitely this time around, Tejus. It's, the, it's hard to say when respect becomes fear. But after that last game and the pretty sizable showing from uh, from Slingshot, 
This is looking like you can kind of see the fear in Tejus's eyes. He knows there are options that he has to be. Like that up smash. If he's not careful, it will just end his life from anywhere. Stage positioning be damned. Yeah. Alright, the wall behind. Oh. And can't just do that. And dash attack into fair. Just simple combo. <laughs> Did she say boo? I know. She, she definitely does not say boo. <laughs> I am choosing to believe just gonna... that she says boo when she falls. Selective smashes. hearing. <laughs> it's like, she, it's, no, she, she definitely says boom here. You're wrong. I said boo. Like, oh, like, boo. Ooh, yeah. ooga booga boo. Oh, <laughs> boo. Boo. <laughs> they have that boo right there. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. This is two stocks to one, and that is a completely healthy stock for Slingshot. It felt like what adjustments needed to be made, they got done in game two, and he's just, you know, capitalizing on those same changes. This is basically, I mean, this, this gap is even wider than we saw before, and being down by this much means now Tejus is getting caught by those combos and eating another 80%. Yeah. This is just not looking good. The Tejus. Oh. Flipping the wrong way. Alright, good forward throw. Now, one thing is that we haven't really seen any edge guards like going off stage and finishing it. He's a living, but <laughs> that's the last up smash he can take. Yeah, it definitely is going to be the last one. Yeah, yep. and sealing the deal right there. Slingshot with the second upset of their bracket run. Beating Tejus, at least in terms of seeding. Slingshot definitely just able to keep pace with these players. Yeah, no. I'm I'm really excited to see more from him. Is And we might actually get to see him face off against uh, Amaryllis Bayo, because both of them are still in winners. What? Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Amaryllis's Bayo, and both of those Bayos, they do have kind of a different style, so it'd be curious to see whether the adjustments he made against Hades will also work against Amaryllis, if those two do in fact meet. Yeah. Hey, man, 